A heavy smoke shrouded an Indonesian city on Tuesday, as more than 300 forests and peatland fires on Sumatra Island forced government officials to order residents to work from home. According to the Disaster Management Agency, the military, police and local governments were working to put out the flames that were raging in 316 locations across South Sumatra province, but their efforts were hampered by the unusually dry weather. The smoky clouds from the fires covered the capital of the South, Palembang province, and healthy air conditions for the 1.7 million people who live there. Officials visit site of church roof collapse, which killed 11. According to the recent information obtained by officials, the death toll following the collapse of a church roof during a Sunday mass in Mexico has grown to 11, with approximately 60 more injured. As officials examined the scene, social media footage showed heavy machinery sifting through the wreckage of the chapel in the Gulf Coast city of Ciudad Madero in Tamaulipas state. According to the state governor, five women, two men and three children were among those killed on Sunday. A day later, another young woman died in the hospital, bringing the death toll to 11. Accounting 23 individuals are still hospitalized with two in critical condition. According to the Red Cross, a group of 271 migrants arrived on Spain's El Hirio Island on Tuesday after traveling on the same boat. A record number of arrivals aboard one vessel in the Canary Islands, noting that the previous record, according to the relief organization, was 234 persons in one boat in 2008. When the canoe-shaped boat known as Coyoco landed at Restinga Harbor, Spanish rescue workers and Red Cross members were tending to other rescued migrants. In what critics saw as an attack on one of India's few remaining independent news sites, Indian police searched the offices of a news website under investigation for allegedly receiving cash from other countries as well as the homes of some of its journalists. Unidentified officials said the Press Trust of India news agency that investigators took data from journalists' laptops and mobile phones and that two journalists were detained. The raids come months after Indian police searched the BBC's New Delhi and Mumbai offices in February on suspicion of tax evasion.